Thanks for tuning back into the channel, Vintage and, and Collectible Stuff. I am back tonight with a bunch of random wax packs that I haven't opened yet. And so tonight we're going to do just that. And we're going to start with the 1992 Leaf Series 1. Hoping for uh, about the best rookie card is Toronto's Juan Guzman or maybe some Hall of Famers. Let's start off with... Bobby Rose of the California Angels. And we have our Leaf Gold card. And it looks to be Bob Tewksbury of the Cardinals. Very nice. And flip it around. We got Bill Bacota of the Mets. And Jeff Bell, or Jay Bell, shortstop, Pittsburgh Pir Pirates. Jeff Montgomery. Oh, nice. There's an Ivan Rodriguez. It's a second-year card. Pretty nice. His rookie cards came out in 1991. So I'll just set that over to the side and keep that nice and safe. And carry on. There is Tony Fernandez, one of my all-time favorites. And there is the Terminator Tom Hankey. Mike Sosha. And here's our first Hall of Famer, Dave Winfield. Toronto Blue Jays from his World Series winning year. Vaughn Hayes. Pedro Guerrero, first baseman for the Cardinals. And we've got a Yankee pitcher, Dave Smith, Joe Ursulak. And that takes care of 1992 Leaf Series 1. Let's move on to the Fleer from 1993. Again, this is a Series 1 pack. It's got 15 cards. I guess there's a redemption card here for Tom Glavin. And I think there's nothing, no big rookies in this series. Uh, would be nice to get a Ken Griffey or Barry Bonds or any other Hall of Famers. You can see these packs are a little bit tough to open up. And we got Jeff King on the back. Try not to damage the corners, but sometimes uh, it just gets a little bit too much time to get the trusted scissors out. And peel that wax paper away from the cards. And we're going to start off here with Ken Herb Kent Herbeck. A little bit sticky. Luis Soho. There's a Mike Maddox. Not the Greg Maddox we were hoping for. And Xavier Hernandez. And they are a little bit stuck. Jeff Branson, Kelly Gruber, looking up into the sky for a foul ball. And there's Ken Griffey. Very nice. All right, a Griffey or a Bonds. I'll take Griffey over Bonds any day. Nice card. Back looks nice and clean. Edges look good. Card number 307 from 93 Fleer. We'll just set that over to the side as well. And carry on. We got uh, Ben McDonald. Of the Baltimore Orioles. Riel Cormier, Canadian pitcher, uh, passed away last year or earlier this year. We got a Mets pitcher, Charlie Liebrandt of the Braves, of course, pitched against uh, the Blue Jays in the 1992 World Series. I think he pitched the final game, might have even taken the loss in uh, the deciding, not the deciding game, game six. There's Bill Swift. And there's Jeff King at the back. That takes care of the second pack, the 93 Fleer. Now we're going to move over to the 1994 Opeachy. I think this might be the last year the Opeachy came out with baseball cards. 14 cards in each pack. It's got uh, one special insert, hot prospects, and Blue Jay cards, diamond dynamos, and redemption cards. So, hot prospects would be Carlos Delgado, Manny Ramirez, and Ryan Klesko. We, I would say the top three cards. Inserts are 1 in 36 packs, and all-star cards are supposed to be one per pack. So, here's the first one. Start off with Greg Gagne, shortstop for the Royals. Came up with the Twins. There's Albert Bell. Look at the... Uh, the, the, the lips, he uh, looks like he's kissing that ball. Come here, pitch it to me. I want to give a big smack. And our first all-star card goes to Cal Ripken. 
Very nice. Nice condition. It's uh, number 15 out of 25 with a special offer on the back. That's a nice card. Leave that over there beside Irod. And we got Devo White of the Blue Jays. Kirk Manwaring of the Giants. See, these cards are a little bit sticky. Chad Curtis of the Angels. Another Greg Gagne. That's two in one pack. There's Wally Joyner. And we've got an Expos pitcher, Denny Boucher, another Canadian pitcher on the Canadian team. Daryl Hamilton looks to be Andy Van Slyke, and it is. Ozzy Smith, there's a Hall of Fame player. Not too many of those we've come across. There's Moises Alou. All right, pack number two. Still hoping for a hot prospect card. Manny Ramirez, Carlos Delgado, or Ryan Klesko. I also think that Tim Salmon might also be in this set. And look at that. On the back, that would be Juan Guzman, but that's not the rookie card. All right. Tony Phillips, Sammy Sosa, card number two. Our second all-star card belongs to... Carlos Baerga, playing there with the Cleveland Indians. Arthur Rhodes of the Orioles. Hal Morris of the Reds. Rich Amaral of the Mariners. And they're getting a bit more stuck now. There's Juan Guzman. I'll set that aside later for my Blue Jays album. Raymond Martinez, not the Martinez we were looking for, looking for Pedro. Here's Greg Maddox, pitching with the Braves. Another Kirk Manwaring. <laughs> Just look, look at the picture they, they chose there with uh, Jeff Blauser's butt nearly in his face. That's funny. Doc Gooden, pitching for the Mets. I think that's his last year before he went on to the, I think it was the Indians next before he went to the um, Yankees. There's Tom Glavin, Dante Bouchette, and boy, he has the eyes there of uh, his son, or his son has the eyes of his father. Bo's having quite the week this week. Another Rich Amaral, Derek Kyle, and Steve Avery finishes off pack number two. Third pack of this 1984 Opeachy set. Like I said, I think this is this was the last set that Opeachy came out with. He stopped producing after this. We got Mickey Tettleton for the Tigers leading off. Andy Bennis of the Padres, card number two. If I can get them unstuck. Our second, our third all-star card goes to Jeff Bagwell, Hall of Famer, Houston Astros. We'll set that over there with the other three cards, just move them over back into the frame so we don't lose them. Ben McDonald, I think that's our second or third McDonald card. John Franco, closer, setup man for the Mets. There's Pedro Martinez. Wait, Padres. He didn't play for the Padres. That's the wrong Pedro Martinez. I actually don't remember this one. Kent Herbeck, we've seen him before tonight. Robin Ventura, Reggie Sanders, Chuck Carr, we got, uh, don't remember that pitcher, Jeff Granger, there's Charlie Huff, oh, I forgot he pitched into the 90s, I think he started pitching in the 60s, <laughs> pitch toe is nearly 50, there's Chuck Carr, and we've got Jamie Navarro. And the last two or three cards go to, if I can carefully peel them, Dave Stewart, who is, I think, getting his number retired uh, tomorrow um, by the Oakland Athletics for his uh, three 
20 win seasons in a row. All right, moving on to 1993 Dunruss Series 1. Three packs of these cards. Looking for the Diamond Kings, the Elite Series, which is uh, serial numbered out of uh, 10,000. Seems like an awfully lot nowadays, but not back in 1993. And they had some other cool inserts. So hopefully I can pull one out of these three packs. All right, these are not sticking at all. That's good. A couple of common cards to lead us off. Raider Rookie, Dan Smith. There's Canadian uh, Pat Tabler, Blue Jays. Uh, this looks like his third year card. Bill Pakoda, there's Ben McDonald. I guess uh, someone would say that's an omen. I wonder who that would be. I'm not gonna say. Daryl Strawberry with the Dodgers. Victor Cole with the Pirates. Mark Witten, former Blue Jay. Lance Parrish does not look right in a Seattle Mariners uniform, no. He belongs in a Tigers uniform forever. Although he played for the Blue Jays and the Phillies, I think as well, towards the end of his career. Second pack. And we're going to start off with pitcher for the Indians. Darren Lewis, Wayne Kirby, rated rookie card. There's a Diamond King. Very nice looking card. Robin Ventura. I actually do like this design. It's, uh, I think, one of the best Diamond King designs ever for from Dunruss. Checklist, Arthur Rhodes, Jeff Blazer, Scott Cooper. I think he was supposed to take over for, uh, I think he did take over for Wade Boggs and didn't pan out. There's Tony Gwynn. Great, another Hall of Fame card. Into the collection, Chris Nabholtz, Vinny Castilla, or Castilla, yep. Yeah. DJ Doiser for the Mets. Last pack of the night. Hopefully I'll be coming out with uh, another video or two this week. I've got lots of other wax packs to open up. And we're gonna start with, I'll be starting off with a common card on the top. There's Jose Offerman, another Kurt Manwaring. I think I've had like four of his cards. Domingo Martinez, Kevin Brown, Ed Sprague, Ken Hill, and Brett Saberhagen looking up into the sky. Oh, but before we get to that, let's get uh, Cheeto Martinez. There's Brett. Brett, another Brett, Brett Barbary. Ellis Burks. Behind him, we've got Kevin Apier. And then last card, Sean Barton. And that does it. That is it for tonight. So I did pull myself a nice Ken Griffey Jr., a second year Ivan or Ivan Rodriguez, and two all star cards from uh, Opeachy 1994. Thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos and have yourself a fantastic week.